Hey, my name is Galorian, and in this video I will introduce you to the fourth value, rest, so that you will learn scaling things with common sense, so that you will stop and look at the essence of things, and so that you will not forget the purpose of it all. The tales of Sodom and Amorah, of Noah's Ark and of Exodus present emergencies whereas there is no time. Don't look back, don't collect memories, don't swell the bread. In all of those escape stories there is a call to rush, to run forward without hesitating. Start all anew with no looking back, with no time to think and never, never look back. Modern way of life invites us with a call to go forward, for growth, for progression and improvement toward richness and success. We are all measured mostly based on success and results. And there is almost no time to enjoy the way, the process and understanding how we have changed. As some of our biblical ancestors, we are on a run, crazy flee from failure, as at all times we are under attack of rocks, sulfur and rain, and there is no time to linger. In our times, more than ever before, it needs to have a big inner strength in order to deal with a much opened and liberated life entity. Each one of us needs to develop his attitude regarding activity, but at the same time, to form its attitude regarding rest. Rest. Peacefulness. Stop for a moment and think. A day in a week. An hour in a day. A minute in an hour. A small moment before we answer a very important or difficult question. It is so important to understand that in silence the same stop for a fraction of time, there is still from converse. A man speaks not only with language and with the words he chooses to say, but also with silence, with style, with the eyes, with the body. A momentary stop in order to scale things in our mental scales, weigh things with common sense before we act is so meaningful and important in dealing right with reality. If I may quote from the Bible, it seems that the approach is six working days and one day for resting. If so, then why this resting day is so needed? A man has to stop and look at the essence of things. As undoubted, he will forget the purpose of it all. What it looks like. It resembles climbing a mountain up to the top. The climber knows that he aims at reaching at the top, but the climbing up is involved with great effort, including falling down, injuries, and tugging in thorns, tiredness, and desperation. If the climber won't stop once in a while to look at the top that he aims at reaching, probably he will soon find himself miserable not knowing why and for what he even deals with this frustrating climbing. Likewise, it is most likely that in a specific stage he will stop climbing and start declining the mountain. However, if he will stop and from time to time look toward the summit, he will remember that this is where he aims at and therefore he is so determined and well dedicated, ready to fall down getting injured, scratching himself and go through all the misery that is engaged with this climbing, as there is a purpose and there is sense. That stop is parallel to the resting day. The time to stop and think of the results of your deeds, the time to remember that things must be done in calmness and peacefulness. It makes sense to think that the more we put effort into things, the faster we are to reach our goals. Is it so? Now, stop and think of it all. What is your life's purpose? Remember, beware not to bring yourselves to that point where you lose yourselves and the why. So, if you like these wisdoms and you want to dive deeper into the secret wisdom of the new Jewish people and you don't want to wait until I'll send video number 7 to your inbox, 
click on the blue link below this video.